guys, this is Brie Andersee, and today I'm gonna show you how to throw a cast net off of a stand-up paddleboard. Here I have the seven-foot Barracuda cast net. Uh, when you're throwing from a paddleboard, you wanna make sure that you have a smaller cast net. So I first started with a four-foot and worked myself up to a six. Now I'm using a seven and an eight. Um, and it just depends on where you are and the depth of the water. If you use a larger cast net, it's hard to maneuver just with the gear on the board and um, just rotating back and throwing, uh, you get caught sometimes. So you wanna try to use a smaller cast net. All right, so step one, I'm gonna take the line and I'm gonna wrap it in my hand, kind of like I'm doing an extension cord. I'm gonna take the top of the cast net and I am right-handed. So my dominant hand has the line and I'm gonna grab right around the top and I'm gonna split this up in two thirds. So let's see, one, two, three. I'm gonna grab here first, about a third of the way down and then I'm gonna make a little bit of a loop here and I'm gonna bring my left hand, what I have in my left hand over to my right and grasp it. Now I'm gonna take the weights at the bottom and I'm gonna loop them over my dominant hand. So usually I put out my pointer and my middle finger and I'm gonna loop that over and it's just gonna hold. I'm gonna do that three more times. So I'm collecting the netting in my hand so when I go back and I go forward to throw, it's gonna help open it and spread it out. Okay. Then I'm gonna take that last bit here and I'm gonna hold it in my left hand. So when I throw, I'm gonna move backwards and then forwards. And when I go to release, I'm gonna be bringing my right hand over my left hand like I'm throwing a discus. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, back and. So when I carry this with me on my paddleboard, I usually put it on the back. That way it stays out of my way when I'm standing on the board. I get sloppy with it sometimes though and I end up standing on it, but it's easy to put bungee on the back of the board and just slide the net underneath there. I have my anchor attached. It's really important to have an anchor line because when you toss off the board and you're going to reel in your cast net, you often go in the direction of where the weight is. So if you're going towards your cast net that's in the water, you may end up in the mangroves or in a place that you don't wanna be. So I'm gonna use my five gallon bucket and my aerator. It's battery operated and it puts oxygen into the water so it keeps your fish alive. So you should have a bucket cover, but something you can do instead is that. That's what I do, I don't know. There's probably a more functional way. So right now, mullet run's happening. Uh, usually it's better in high tide conditions because the water's clearer. Right now it's pretty much dead low, but we're gonna try to catch some mullet. So we're gonna try our luck and take some throws off the paddleboard.